lifelong resident of Chesapeake, um, a product of Great Bridge High School and Old Dominion University. And after I finished that up, unlike Ann, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay, so I ended up uh, in apprentice school over at one of the local shipyards, uh, which was an awful shipbuilding and dry dock. And at that point, I proceeded to have some of the hardest education of my life I ever had. Because this stuff that we call STEM now, uh, they put real life to it, okay? And, and we worked with it, and now I understood why y'all was educated. You can tell me, the students really need to pay attention and, and, and get this stuff, okay? Uh, I started out for the company back in 1977. So I'm approaching my four years there. I had the opportunity to do a lot of things. I was an outside machinist by trade. Uh, and now my responsibility is overseeing the apprentice school and also labor relations. So I had a pretty rich career there, did a lot of things, and I think I saw a picture of you as a pilot. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I actually was part of the aviation department there in the shipyard too, so we're coming for pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do in the next few minutes is just kind of tell you a little bit about the company I work for, uh, our parent organization, which is the AE Systems PLC. Uh, the North American uh, branch that I work for, which is uh, VA Systems Inc. Uh, and then tell you a little bit about our corporate culture, you know, uh, who we are as people, uh, what we do, and really the most important thing is why we do what we do. Well, that's kind of a, a theme that we have throughout our company. You know, we protect those who protect us. Uh, having the opportunity to work in, in ship repair business, a lot of the combatant ships that we have in warships. Uh, you know, those sailors are in and out of our facility all day long. And, uh, you know, if we don't do something right, guess what? When they're deployed over the Middle East or something like that, they can be in harm's way. So we, we try to keep that, you know, uh, in mind when we do what we do. So we've got a couple of videos. Just kind of tell us I am an engineer by training. Uh, I've worked for VA Systems for over 30 years. The current program I'm working on is called the Multi-Service Standard Guided Projectile. It is a precision munition and it's a marvelous feat of engineering. This projectile is truly multi-service. It can be used by the U.S. Navy, our Army, and the United States Marine Corps. It provides them the capability of enhanced range by a factor of three and it is extremely accurate. It can also be used by our allies, so there is a lot of international interest in this guided projectile. I was never in the military, but yet I feel like I served through the capacity of developing weapon systems for our warfighters, and for that I am very proud. Before joining the AU systems, I was a pilot. I flew the UH-60 Blackhawks in the Army. After my service, I came to work as a program manager, working on the digital electronic warfare system. This technology helps protect the F-15 and its pilots by denying the enemy's radar the ability to see the aircraft, lock on the aircraft, and engage the aircraft. Currently, this technology is being installed on the F-15 fleet for an allied nation, but we are also trying to transition that technology for the United States Air Force. I'm very excited to be working on this program in particular because when I was in Iraq, it was technology that came out of this very building and out of this company that helped save my life and the lives of my soldiers. As an engineer, what really excites me about working on the Intel Academy product is I get to take some of my experiences that I've worked on on other programs and try to solve for this product line. I lead a team of very skilled engineers to deliver a more enjoyable flight for the passengers, which help benefit the airlines so they can be more competitive. We have such enthusiastic people, diverse people, people who focus on the customer, people who focus on technical, and we all work very well together. Engineers like to solve problems. We like to tear things apart and put things back together to make them better than they were before. I'm a rigging apprentice, uh, work in the shipyard. When the ships come in, we repair, we do a lot of maintenance, and we modernize different systems. We make sure they're in top condition, put it on U.S. Navy, so they can do what they have to do to protect us. I actually love my job. I don't like a six still born type job. I like to be moving at all times. What me and my team do is really important and it really matters because when I see these ships or hear the names again, I know that was me, that was us, that did a good job to allow the ship to complete their mission. Well, I started out as a school teacher, but when 9-11 happened, it just changed who I wanted to be. So after I joined the Army, I became an imagery analyst and then conducted two tours in Iraq. Currently, 
Committee, I serve as the activity-based intelligence subject matter expert. Ultimately, the analysis and information we provide is to save lives. It's to keep our troops out of harm's way. Activity-based intelligence providing an element which analysts have never had before. It allows them the opportunity to visualize data and correlate it and have more time for collaboration. The job I do every day is very important to me. I want the opportunities that living in America affords us to be here tomorrow for my children, for, for the generations to come after them. So BAE is just more than a defense contractor, okay? We're into aerospace, uh, pretty much Obviously, the maritime, which is which I'm very familiar with, uh, land and armament, uh, intelligence, cybersecurity, and then we have a whole myriad of services that support all these uh, industries nationwide. Uh, so, you know, aerospace, defense, intelligence, and, and shared services is what we're about. Okay. So, a little bit about our company: over 100,000 employees worldwide. Uh, PLC is actually out of the UK. Uh, that's our parent organization. Uh, again, they're shipbuilders, they build airplanes, they're into avionics, all full level support through life cycle management for, for a good portion of the defense industry there. Uh, BA Systems Inc. is what we are in North America. We're able to operate for a foreign uh, owned company through a special security agreement, uh, basically look at it as a fireball. Okay, so we're actually a separate entity with over 30,000 employees employed in the United States here. Uh, globally, we're the third largest uh, defense contractor uh, behind uh, Lockheed and Boeing as well. So uh, I think Lockheed is actually one of y'all sponsors as, as well. So uh, healthy company. Now, uh, we are a leader in science and technology, I will say. I'm almost apologetic. The shipyard is probably not on the leading edge of the technology side, but still very important to who we are at BAE. Uh, we do a lot of investment in research and development, uh, and like I say, uh, a lot of uh, established partnerships with education institutions and all worldwide. Uh, we are a culture of performance. We're a performance-driven organization in everything we do. You'll see that. Uh, Throughout, throughout our company. So here's kind of what it looks like on paper. Uh, you see BA Systems Inc., which is us in North America on the left, and then our other organizations. Now, here's our key markets. Uh, as you would imagine, North America is a very big portion of that. And, and even more so than that, uh, guaranteed today, we've got employees uh, just about worldwide in most countries supporting. <laughs> Uh, our customers, whether it's the government or, or other. My name is Ali. I am Rachel. I'm Andrew. Trust is Bill. Small Capital Banks. I am Jenny. Daniel Melcher. I am Deepa Kedma. I am Carol. I am Tom. Charlotte T. James Rick. I am Victoria. My name is Leslie. Gary Wixel. Daisy. I am Brian. Gary. I am Sam Granger. Eric Jeffrey. I am Roger McGill. Aaron Green. I'm Steve. And I'm a person with that I don't know. I'm Beth. Steph Corey. I'm a retired Marine Colonel. I'm very proud of what we do here at PAE. To save lives. I'm helping you. Building nuclear deterrence. Building a bigger bigger. Changing how pilots fly. Building a bigger bigger ship. Preventing cyber attacks. I'm an X-101. Radiation hardened. Fast and effective repair. Supporting the role of navigating. Business consulting. Innovation. Fighting the war on terror. Indigenous defense capability fighting. I don't know where to do what to do best. Just we are creating systems. I install like this. You mean I'm like welder? I'm an electrical engineer. A project manager. Time being system engineer. Quality team leader. Senior project manager. Failure analyst. I'm a non destructive testing engineer. I've worked here for 27 years. Four months. Ten years. Twelve years. Fourteen years. Nineteen months. Thirty six years. Delivering the best. Global code of conduct in six languages. If something is not right, I challenge it. I'll stand up and be counted. I am trusted. And I am innocent. I am fooled. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. VAE system. Um, did you recognize a couple of your students? I didn't. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, so, who got a diverse culture? I'll tell you.
tell you, uh, our workforce worldwide, uh, some approaching 20% here locally in the shipyard. Uh, we target hires for 20%. Uh, realistically, we've got about 12 to 12, 13% in our workforce. So uh, it's an occupation, even in the shipyard, uh, for, for women. I've got to tell you, in a lot of cases, uh, women will make better mechanics and better managers and better supervisors than, than a, lot of, a lot of guys. But okay, of uh, the operating group on parts platforms and services, uh, we kind of took the old what we call land and armaments and merged it with the ship repair services. So basically, anything on the ground, anything in the sea, uh, belongs to our operating group right now. Uh, we're about 12,000 employees strong, primarily based uh, in, in in the United States. Although we do support some of the armored vehicles and some of the ships, uh, we do forward deploy people. Where we are in ship repair, we are the leader in non-nuclear ship repair. We, we don't work on nuclear vessels, so that's usually for the public yards. We actually have seven locations throughout the United States. Uh, here in Norfolk, uh, we're down in Jacksonville, uh, in Mayport as well, uh, Mobile, San Francisco, San Diego, and Hawaii. We are where the government is. The government is our largest uh, customer, as you would imagine. Uh, we're just, besides ship repairs, we're also ship builders of uh, smaller vessels, uh, which we're doing in Mobile and Jacksonville. And quite honestly, we're starting to sunset those programs because our niche is ship repair. Um, we're over 5,000 employees nationwide. Uh, Norfolk was 1,500. Uh, probably most of y'all have seen in the paper where we've experienced layoffs because of the lack of work in the port. We're down to somewhere about 800 people right now. Oh, that's a temporary condition, uh, 18, 24 months. I would expect us to ramp back up. In the meantime, we're supporting a lot of work over in San Diego. They've actually grown their workforce. They're over 2,000 right now. And keep a pretty consistent mix of, of folks in San Francisco uh, and, and uh, Hawaii as well. Uh, one of the things we do here, we also are a portable workforce, OK? Uh, so we ship our folks where the work are. Uh, right now, we've got about 150 people that are working out of plant here. Uh, we had uh, 60 people working in San Francisco, uh, about 80 working in San Diego, and, and uh, lucky about a dozen working in Hawaii right now. Uh, so, so we do move where the work is. And uh, again, I want to say, uh, great opportunity to, to travel. Uh, here in Norfolk, we're a 109 acre facility. If you ever driven across the Berkeley Bridge, look to the left, you see that big green thing we call the dry dock. It's one of the largest float dry docks on the East Coast. It has a lifting capacity of about 52,000 long tons, which means it can bring up anything the Navy has, with the exception of a carrier or a sub. Okay. Uh, we do, again, primarily uh, government work, although we do commercial. You may have seen a Disney boat or, or another cruise boat in here in the past few years. Uh, full service shipyard. Uh, we have about a mile of waterfront uh, along the Elizabeth River there. Uh, full service piers, full service cranes, and a full service workforce. Uh, like I say, uh, pretty impressive. Uh, we support our communities, uh, we support our customers, uh, various organizations and all. I've got a real quick video, but probably a little bit longer than quick, but it kind of tells you a little bit. Our families and a boots on the ground organization, grassroots, that's by and between military families. Boost our families fills the void that's been missing in our lives for resources, information, and basically support.
about the science, we've got to be there for them. It's, it's a no-brainer. So, a little bit, you know, told you a little bit about our company, who we are, uh, what we do. Uh, we're a great place to work, i got to tell you. Uh, we're a strong company. We're a very diverse company, okay? Lots and lots of opportunities. Uh, we are a leader in science and technology, and we're really committed to doing the best we can again to go back and, and protect the people who protect us. Uh, really, this kind of says it all. Riding on an MRAP, and an MRAP is a mine resistant, ambush uh, proof vehicle that, that we actually manufacture up, up in York. And uh, you know, we can make a difference like that. Uh, and, and we've done a good day's work. Um, shipbuilding companies. 
Uh, we have a foundation, Side Virginia Ship Repair Foundation, which is an education and outreach. Uh, this year alone, the foundation has reached almost uh, 8,000 students in the local area here. I happen to chair the foundation, and if you need more information there, they've got a great uh, website, and we love to come out and talk in, to your classrooms. Uh, we, we try to get career days and all as well. We're also partners uh, with Tidewater Community College. Tom was talking about stackable credentials, a career study certificate, AAS, and maritime technologies. That's what our apprentices go through. Great training partners. Part of TCC is the Smart Center, which is a National Science Foundation funded uh, advanced technology <coughs> education center. Uh, all of the bags are complements of the Smart Center. A couple of CDs, uh, really some, some good information, good material. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.